Hey guys, welcome back to Phil Plays TCG. Today we are talking about probably my favorite deck I've played in all of One Piece, and that is Blue Do Flamingo from set one. I've just I've always loved playing this deck. I love the Seven Warlords archetype. I really fell in love with this deck near the end of the first meta, and I just always wanted them to you know give more support. We got a little bit in set two, but Primarily, this deck has received no support uh, for many, many sets now, but that is about to change with set uh, seven, or, you know, OPO seven, because we, as of right now, as of recording of this video, we have three confirmed new cards that are going to be playable. Uh, two of them in set seven, one of them in uh, the event booster or uh, evolution booster or whatever it's going to be called. Sorry, I can't think of what it's called right now, but these three cards alone are fantastic so we're gonna get into that uh, before uh, we get into the video though gotta do all the youtube stuff if you haven't hit that like button and subscribe button yet you should really should we are just three subs away at the time of recording this video from 800 subs and i would really appreciate any and all support if you're a fan of dragon ball uh, one piece you're in the right place here we got plenty of more content coming down the line so any and all support you guys could give me i would really appreciate that uh, with all that out of the way Let's talk about Doflamingo. So, like I said, this deck really hasn't received any real support since set two. It did get, I believe, a, one additional Warlord and another blue 2K. Uh, I guess the 2K really doesn't matter, but it did receive one more Warlord uh, with a 6K Gecko Moria. That's really it. You, we did get the Gene Bay, which from set uh, from the promos of uh, regionals, which that card was amazing and still is amazing in this deck. But now uh, with event, uh, EB, uh, EB01 and OP07, we as of right now have three confirmed cards. And if we're gonna be getting more seven Warlord support, hallelujah, I will take it. I know I'm probably making this a little earlier than I really should because I, they probably are going to be revealing more seven Warlords cards, but I just can't help myself. I just gotta talk about this. Dofi is coming back with a vengeance. Uh, this deck is still fun, I think, right now. Like, I actually recently rebuilt it. Uh, my buddy uh, has been playing a build that actually has been doing very well uh, at his locals. He says he really does, you know, he's not scared of Sakazuki and Anel anymore with the deck. I personally have not had a chance to play against Sakazuki or Anel with this deck yet. Uh, my locals is a bit more diverse, so I haven't had the chance to test it, but I really do love Doflamingo. The play style, the seven warlords, being able to swing 7k, uh, play a 4k body from the top of your deck, is it's such a fun ability. Now, let's talk about the cards here. Uh, right here in the middle, we already have heard uh, the reveal of Edward Weevil. Uh, he is a blue seven warlords of the sea, uh, four cost, 6k body. So essentially he's just another Gecko Moria having an extra uh, attack power, which we really do need that. But his ability is on play, draw a card. So not only do you get to play a 6K body for free, you're, you're drawing an additional card. And if you're using Perona or Doflamingo to search the top, uh, sorry, rearrange the top uh, five cards of your deck, you will be able to see what card you're drawing. So it's just so cool. Now let's talk about the newer cards they revealed recently. Uh, we have Jean Bay. The I believe this one just just revealed today at the time of recording this video. He is a four drop 5k body, which is standard for most warlords. Uh, but his on play ability is play up to one, four or lower cost seven warlords of the C type character other than Jinbei from your hand. That is awesome. That is so good. Basically, you play off your leader ability. Then you get to play another body from your hand in active mode. So for your swinging 7k, play Jinbei, play another card. You're essentially playing two bodies for free, really, or just one Don, you know, for the extra for the leader ability. Um, some people have already talked about how uh, you could just keep Edward Weevil in your hand, play him off Jinbei's ability to draw one. You're playing two bodies and you're replacing the card you just played from your hand. Uh, 
you could play uh, Boa, you could play, you know, Kuma, you could play uh, the five, the four cost uh, 2K Mihawk, which I don't think you really would. You could play the Law Blocker, which I don't recommend. You play a lot of low cost blockers in this meta. Um, you could play Gecko Moria to recur another card from your discard pile. Um, you could play the 6K Gecko Moria. Like every seven Warlord is available to just play for free. Now it looks like this is a SR. Yep, this is an SR. So that's just, that's awesome. That's fantastic. That is probably now the best Seven Warlords card. Uh, that's really cool. Um, and of course, we did receive uh, the Trafalgar Law. Uh, blue, four drop, 4K. He is a 2K, so he's another recurrable 2K counter now. Uh, you can you can combine with uh, Gecko Moria because as of right now, Mihawk was the only 2K you could keep recurring from your discard pile. But now we have another. His ability is activate mean. You may return this character to its owner's hand. If your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, they place one card from, that, from their hand on the bottom of their deck. That is awesome. So you can use your leader ability to play this from the top of your deck. You don't, a 4K body's not gonna last very long. We know that. So you use its ability to just bring it right back to your hand. So now you have a 2K counter in hand and you get to bottom deck an opponent's card from their hand. Just ugh, looking at these makes me so happy. This deck really needed the support and it's taken multiple sets now to get it. But just with these three cards alone, there is so many r amazing strategies you can do. You know, um, you could play law. You could play law off of Gene Bay, you know, use his ability, uh, bounce it back right back to hand and then make your opponent bottom deck something. You really don't want to do that. Like, I don't I don't, I don't, think that's the most optimal play, but that's such a cool little ability. Um, I, like I said, there's going to be absolutely more Seven Warlords revealed. This is only going to get better. I am so excited to take uh, Dofi out once again. I am playing him currently at my meta right now, just for fun. Uh, like I made, uh, I made aware in a previous video that I'm just not having fun with this OP05 meta. So being able to play something that's, you know, fun, but also could be a bit meta relevant, little just combining words there, uh, is really cool. And seeing the support for this is awesome. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the uh, revealed seven warlord support and what you hope for in the future. I do really hope that we get another boss monster I know Seven Warlords technically doesn't have a way to play a boss monster because, well, with its ability, we of course have Nine Drop Mihawk, which is our has been our boss monster since set one. But I don't know. I really really love another type of boss monster that allows me to play another Warlord. Like I have another nine cost body that lets you play a, a Warlord or bounces something. I don't know. Bouncing and playing Warlords. That's that's what Blue does best. Uh, well, Blue Dofi does best. So, ugh. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the recently revealed uh, Seven Warlord support in the comments down below. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. We are just so close. We are so close to 800 subs, um, and I hope we can get there within the next few days. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. You take care now. Whew, Dofi's back, baby. Story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Dago, 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 oh, oh. His name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy. Gonna be king of 